Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Jabrook, and this is going to be on Igor Zamula winning the PSECU Player of the Week, and also Hayden Hodgson after impressing mightily in his first season, getting a not one, but two-year AHL extension, the former Reading Royal, with the Lehigh Valley Phantom. Now tearing it up with his torrid of a wrist shot and a very good spunk and pizzazz and grit to his game. He obviously adds great physicality. You don't want to mess with people on the ice when Hayden Hodgson and or um, Garrett Wilson's on the ice and or Brennan Saunier. So there's a great grouping of guys or Big Z Eager Zamula who won the PSECU Player of the Week. There's a good grouping of guys that are great protectors on the Phantom, something the Flyers roster is missing if your name's not Zach McEwing or Rasmus Ristolainen, but that are great protectors on the Phantom's roster to protect the good scorers, like when they're down, the Wilmans and Frost of the World when they were down this year, but now uh, Jerry Mayhew when he's down, and others that just score to a good rate, and even Isaac Ratcliffe, who's a big boy that skates well for his size, can use his physicality, but when he got drafted, he was kind of a mini um, Vitaly Krotsov like prospect where he was good with his strides, good skater with his size, used his physicality, but wasn't like the Hodgson or the Wilsons of the world level of physicality. So now he's able to kind of just exploit his offense more because you have these great protectors on the team. Uh, it's smart to um, keep these guys around, uh, that's for sure. Um, uh, when it comes to Hayden Hodgson and then Igor Zamula, I thought he had a good debut uh, with the Philadelphia Flyers and then got sat for Nick Sealer, who I didn't even think played bad in the game. He came back in Sealer. It's just at this point with the Flyers, when it seems like you're in this retooling situation season, you might as well let the guys play from the Phantom and get them experience because they're going to be part of the Cogs, Jaeger, Zamula, and also Cam York. They're going to be part of the Cogs, your defense going forward and main Cogs in it. But Zamula scored the tying goal with just 16 seconds left against her. She extended the Phantom's point streak to eight games and received his first Flyers call-up on the season, obviously while winning the PSECU Player of the Week from January 10th, uh, from the week that ended in January 10th. And then Hodgson signed a two-year extension, the former Reading Royal for the 2023 season and the 2023-24 season. He's still only 25. This cat definitely has a chance to be a two-way contract, Hayden Hodgson, at some point, probably next year, honestly, um, in the second year of, well, in the first year of his new extension. Because if he keeps playing to this trajectory, like I said, you can never have, you want to have still, you, like Nick Ritchie didn't work out for Toronto, but Barkley Goodrow has continued to work out, Pat Maroon has continued to work out for his career for teams because they add some offense to the team, yes, while being physical, but they're also just guys that are great stand-up guys for, for the star players that you're not going to mess with anybody when those guys are on the ice. So just because there's a couple examples you can point to that didn't work out, there's always examples you can point to that did work out. So it's great to have those jam players, as Lavi would say on the ice because it's just going to help the Stars to play more loose and to, and to feel like they're actually protected. Where the only guys you see do that for the Flyers roster, where the Phantoms roster, we do see it, um, is really um, Ristolainen and, and Zach McEwen. Um, so you need to see it at, at, a, at a higher clip, basically, like we have been with the Phantoms. So Hayden Hodgson, I think, has a chance to even be a guy that gets a two-way at some point. Uh, but overall... Um, in his debut season with the Phantoms, he has scored six goals and has seven assists for 13 points in 20 games. Um, obviously, he came to the training camp as a tryout. He's uh, Bob Roach considered him rugged. Rugged's another way to basically say gritty. But uh, the quote from Lappy is, he's been our biggest surprise. He came out of nowhere. He came to our training camp, and I didn't know about him. Nobody knew about him. I was like, who is this kid? And he came on the ice, and I saw what he can do. What I like about him, he does everything hard, and it starts in practice. He got good habits in practice. Sky's the limit for him. I wouldn't be surprised in the next couple of years if he plays at the next level. So even Lappy, Ian LaPerriere, who I think, honestly, yes, I got him in some past videos earlier in the season because I thought he was more just developing rather than actually coaching for much sense. But I think his system is starting to come into play in the last recent weeks and it's starting to spiral down ever since we saw coaches get fired. We've seen things change even a little bit at the HL level where I think Lappy now is kind of implementing his own ideas rather than feeling like he has to follow the NHL level because those guys are now gone. Um, and that's been obviously doing better since the fans have been on a point streak of been playing better hockey even with a plethora of people out and a plethora of people up with the Philadelphia Flyers. Um, so obviously extending Hayden Hodgson is just going to continue to help them for years to come now. It's great to have Hayden Hodgson 
for two more years after this one. He's just going to continue to get better, continue to be a better goal scorer while being a physical at, uh, specimen is a good way to say it, and has great physical attributes at the AHL level. He's going to continue to develop his goal scorer and one day could end up being a third liner, fourth liner for sure, but third liner maybe even if he can continue to develop his wire of a wrist shot and scoring at the NHL level that becomes kind of that maroon-esque player that just is always going to stick up for his team, always be that just great locker room presence on the ice. Um, and a great presence on the ice and a great locker room presence. Uh, Hayden Hodgson is that, and he's just going to continue to get better each year. Uh, like Lappy said, the sky's the limit, and he wouldn't be shocked even if he's at the next level in a couple years. This has been the recent edition of the Ghostly Take, the latest edition as we go over the Hayden Hodgson two-year extension, and we review the fact that Igor Zamula was the PSECU Player of the Week. Big Z's been doing great lately, and of course it rewarded him with the call-up. I thought he did solid in his first game, just like he does at the HL level. If he has a couple of mistake giveaway wise he bounces right back and has a good overall game. That's what he did exactly in his first game of the season with the Flyers. Now it's time to see what he can do if he gets another opportunity. And then um, Hayden Hodgson is going to be exciting to see what he can do now. Now that he has no pressure on his back, he knows he's. this is the first time he feels in his entire professional career that he's settled into a place and he's going to be somewhere for a couple years. So that's going to be nice for him as well. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please can subscribe down below to help us get to the goal of 195 by the end of January. Up above on the easy to use widget. Go Phantoms. I'll be doing a preview before the game on Friday for that game. Great job by the Phantoms to extend Hayden, Hayden Hodgson. And great job by Igor Zamora to continue to play great to get the PSECU Player of the Week. Peace out, everybody.